Welcome back guys to a bank video of Mr. Iron Bar. It's been over a year since the last one. I was gonna of course upload at the start of the year but I was very busy with updates so we had to delay it until I find a nice point where I kind of finish the current stuff. So here is the start of 2023 bank video. It's still early in the year so thankfully we're still in line with the traditional yearly bank video. So before we go over the bank stuff, I just want to say what are some of the core updates that has changed the bank as of late? Well, the first one is definitely Nax. So at the start of the year, last year, basically, I was grinding Nax for many, many months. And we did finish Nax. That has changed the bank quite a bit. And also we had Tombs of a Musket, Raids 3, another huge update bringing you tons of new best in slots so both next and both tombs of musket introduce a ton of new best in slots so best in slot melee uh best in slot range you know you had the shadow things like that and many many other items and also at the start of this year we had the wilderness rework which if you've seen the last few videos i've also been working on that and also there was another update as well which was the muspa boss uh released from the quest that is the prequel to desert treasure 2 and that boss drop like things like venator bow and the heart upgrade so those are some of the major things that happened this year that i was involved in because of the items and all that good stuff and because it was fun so let's get to the bank all right i'll give you guys of course the price check uh, at a later point in the video i just want to quickly kind of scroll through everything so the bank layout has changed a bit just because I wanted to, you know, fit all this fancy new armor in a nice little display. So let's just go from top left and then to the right and then go down. So we have our full graceful. I use this quite often for every little thing. Uh, now we have, of course, the common achievement stuff. The Suck Slayer, Helm Recolor, the Lucky Penny. So actually, this is new because combat achievements got updated recently. So... They added things like the lucky penny i will be doing a video on this pretty soon because not many people know what it does and how awesome it is it's actually quite awesome but just a quick uh info on it it saves five percent of charges related to combat and to an extent non-related combat items will save five percent of charges too so look out for that video in the future uh we have the divine rune pouch came from toa which is normal rune pouch except you have one more slot for runes and of course, Saturated Heart, the upgrading view heart from Muspa Boss. And uh, lately, the Twisted Buckler has made a comeback because they buffed it some time ago, so I use it a lot, so I put it here. Eldenis War, which used to be the Arcane, and we upgraded it, so now it's stronger. And of course, the Ellie from many years ago. The Nomos Afernic Defender, so this thing is actually just a Fernic Defender. Again, combat achievements with some cosmetics coming in. And these are stuff you already know. So down here, of course, we have our capes. These are the capes I use very often. So Missouri Assembler Max Cape, which is the cosmetic version from TOA. Imbue God Cape, Inferno Cape, Max Cape. Mythical Max Cape, I use it a lot for Corp, mainly. Uh, and of course, we still use Void from time to time. <laughs> very rarely. I haven't really touched Void in a while, actually, other than clues. And the crystal armor set. So this got a recolor recently. So you can change it to eight different colors. I went with the, I guess, silver style. Because, I don't know, I thought black was cool. But it was a the weird combo colors of gray and dark was not my taste. And of course, full Missouri. We worked our ass off for this one. So that was a nice best of range. And the ancestral, of course, that's from a while ago. Twisted kit as well. And of course... Old Torva from within the last uh, 365 days of grinding for it. Full Torva. This leg took so long to get. Um, I went two and a half times to three times dry for this. And of course, Inquisitor for many, many years ago. Pre Fulsani. Jewelry, best of slots. Zarite Van Braces from Good Old Next. It's actually incredibly good stats. Uh, we recently got the Tormented Bracelet kit for the Tormented Bracelet, so it looks nice. Occult, unfortunately, still doesn't have it. And of course, Amulet of Torture 2, we had the kit recently as well. Uh, the DFS has made a comeback as a Wildy Slayer. Wildy Bossing, I mean. It's been really nice for anti-BKing and also offensive bonus. 
And down here are some of the weapons. So we have the Twisted Bows, uh, the Tumikin Shadow, new addition. And we have the Os Mountains Fang, new addition as well from the tombs. And of course, we got a kitted from doing low 500 without dying. These sights from a while ago, same old, same old, kitted as well. The prim boots, the rings, and some other boots. I'll talk about that in a little bit. So we have Zarya Crossbow from Nex. And over here is the Venator Bow from Muspa. That boss came out like two months ago or something. Really good for Slayer. I did a video on that recently. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, some of these weapons you've probably already seen. Nightmare weapons have gone up a lot ever since Magic Gear got boosted through the use of Tumikin Shadow and like the Light Bearer combo. So these uh, <laughs> staffs are actually worth a lot now. Holy shit, look at that. Oh my god, Eldritch is 400 mil. All tiles 200 mil. I guess that helps with Nightmare Profits since Inquisitor has definitely gone down a lot. Uh, we got the Accursed Scepter. That's the upgraded Damron Scepter. It's really good. I'll be doing a video on this soon because I have a lot of cool plans I want to do with it and show you guys my discoveries, of course. Uh, we had the Vow Boots. I think I did end up getting this within the year's worth of time. Uh, best in Slot Prayer Boots. Ring of the Gods, same as well. Best in Slot Prayer Ring. Got that within the last three 160 days or so. Light bear, of course, from Tombs of a Musket. And uh, other things. Ah, here we go. Boy Waker. Recently got that within the last like 10 days. Amazing weapon. Uh, after this bank video, the next video will be about the Void Waker, where I use it and uh, how to best use it. It's going to be amazing because I've already uh, been working on it. I can tell you it's actually super, <laughs> super good. All right, we have some God Sword. So Bano's God Sword, I still use quite a lot. Terra God Sword, I use from time to time. But honestly, I use Ancient God Sword a bit more. Ancient God Sword is predominantly through Slayer bossing. Some bosses are good with this. Uh, Slayer God Sword, mostly for generic, just melee Slayer tasks. Um, all these staffs, you already know. Nothing uh, different here. Let's see, what else? Of course, the Hilt. Normal still it's nice from combat achievements too. It teleports to like God Wars, etc. So my uh, arrow stack has definitely dropped a lot. I still have a lot of Amethyst Aura though, so no no worries on that. The Dragon Arrows though, I used to have like 10,000 plus. <laughs> I used most of it next and I kind of regret it, you know? So it's going to take a while to recover. Uh, yeah, Dragon Stone Bolts. I mean Dragon uh, Tear Bolts. I don't really use these too much anymore to be honest. Uh, Dragon Darts, really nice. TOA has boosted it a ton. And, uh, our Cannonball Collection's gone up a bit, because I've been doing a lot of Corp. And honestly, a lot of bosses drop it nowadays, ever since Nex. And, like, even Muspa and Wildy bosses drop a lot. And the Cannon, okay, people keep asking, what the hell is this? This is actually just normal Cannon. But Leaks 3 Cosmetic Kit has changed the look. But it works the same as the normal Cannon. So this is the tab that i basically use most of my gear right so this is the most used for pvm tab right or just like the overall you know trophy tab and the other tabs are kind of miscellaneous so this tab here is basically like side gear that i might occasionally use so i'm not sure if there's anything too crazy of no well i didn't make a bunch of normal slayer helmets this is only just the melee effect uh, i made a bunch of these recently for kvd tasks so you can bring it in the wildy and not worry about losing in view if i get pk'd or something very unlikely uh, of course ring of endurance um unfortunately haven't used it too too much uh it's just good for like rb board and such i thought it was going to be good for clues but honestly it's kind of risky bringing that stuff to the wilderness so i kind of didn't uh so this saying it pretty decent for gardens of the rift and any mining really in general and yeah just a bunch of random stuff like stamina's assortment of food Particularly, Carambon is really good for corpse, so I use that a lot. And Anglefish for general PVM. Mantis, general PVM. Don't really use these too, too often. Mostly wilderness related. And uh, here is kind of like the tools department. So teleports, general skilling tools, general uh, traveling tools. So like clue scroll related tools. All here. Uh, we can talk about the runes though. Let's see. Wrath runes. Doesn't change too much. I don't really use it much. Soul runes though used to be a lot more. But Shadow consumes it like crazy. Wow, look at this. Blood runes. I actually will have over 
100k blood runes that's rare for many years it was always always like sinking because of scythe use but honestly i haven't been using scythe that much jagex has really neglected to bring bosses that the scythe is good at it's always been other you know things like stab weapons that like next right like weak to stab so scythe doesn't really get a whole lot of action nowadays so as a result my blood runes has been going up which is nice Death runes? A lot of death runes. I just don't think I'll ever use them. You just get so many nowadays. Same with law runes. Nature runes as well. Um, astral runes, I got a lot from the next grind, killing the spiritual mages in the Zaros room. They drop a lot. Uh, cosmic runes looking good. Uh, I guess the achievement diary kit was somewhat recent, but really good for clue scrolls. Oh, I made this recently in Camdo's Hammer. Really nice. Or just... Uh, yeah, like burr houses, you can save an inventory slot. So you can like just do multiple login trips if you want before you have to bank. Okay, strange law pig. You might not know what this is, but it skips the barrel stores. It's really nice. I got a lot from Sepulchre, grinding for the ring of endurance. And this is literally the clue tab. So anytime I need to uh wear for like uh item wear step or just like a follow step or whatever. So I have everything for follow, everything for the elites. So we have the spirit angler. This is basically just the trawler fishing, uh, trawler outfit, whatever it is, the original, but I uh, upgraded it using the spare flakes. Temporos, basically. You are able to use this for the clues as well. Counts as a rope too in Temporos, so it's really nice. Fire clothing set is really good. Because you can talk to the Vampire NBC next to the top bank. It'll send you to the Mind. Which will take you outside to a Master Clue spot right there. So this is like the fastest way to get to a certain Master Clue spot. So really nice. Uh, Yeah, that's about it. I mean, Marks of Grace. Backup Staminas, I guess. Yeah, lots of those. Alright, so this is the Miscellaneous Drop section. So I have a bunch of random stuff that are just dupes so uh spoiler alert i actually did get a finally a new item from corp well for collection log it's a dupe but it's nice to have an arcane spare shield again you'll see a video on that eventually uh where i cover corp using all the new stuff and just do a big topic on that grind and uh yes we have a bunch of dupes lots of dragon fire shields uh lots of armor seats lots of uh Enhance these as well, but hey, I've done over 2,000 Corrupted Gauntlets, so this isn't even like that crazy. It's actually just average, so. Uh, lots of dupes for God Wars. I'm keeping these uh, God Wars dupes. You never know, because it's been used to make new stuff before, so just keep some of these. Barrows has increased a bit because I was working on filling the slots for those. Um, what else? Got a bunch of dupe rings recently. We're the God dupes. Kind of weird to see, but yeah, we got some of those. And our rune stuff has gone up a lot too. This is probably worth a lot of money. Like, look, look at this. A thousand rune for homes. That's 20 mil. Oh, it's only 20 mil. But, okay. Look, I'll surprise you though. Check this out. Where's the uh, Onyx Bolts? 30,000 Onyx Bolts from Corp. 268 mil Alks. I am good. And of course, I have 12,000 as well in tips. So, yeah, we are, we are really good on GP if we need more GP. But honestly, no, we don't. We don't. Lots of champion scrolls from way back uh i just got five of these without trying so who knows might get another five unique ones in the future without trying that'd be cool uh let's see yeah skull vedian dupe uh we don't really have much uses for dupes but yeah uh the ethereum brace is going down because of wildy updates recently let's see yeah some more wildy new items from wildy dupes and let us see oh yeah i did get a dupe crossbow the zarite horn uh the, the hell horn to make the Zarite crossbow but i don't have an extra armadillo crossbow i do need that for the collection log so that'll happen eventually i believe let's see what else okay anyways i think that's it so we're gonna move on to the herbler section potion section the super combats for example those are always continuously going down bruise to toe flags usually it would be like always a thousand or less but lately uh things like muspa has given me a lot of toe flags and i think wilderness bosses drop some as well so 
I've actually been able to stock up on certain things that I usually don't have stocked up unless I go farm them, like Snapdragons. I didn't farm any of this. I just got it from recent bosses. But let's see. There's just a bunch of things like Dwarf Weeds and Landed Dimes. I just never end up using all of these, to be honest. You just get an absorbent amount. So that never really gets used up. But yeah, Torsos and stuff, though, and things really, again, to Super Combats, always seems to kind of bounce out. So... Oh yeah, Sanford Serums, baby. Oof, over a thousand, man. I think the Wilderness Grind recently. They drop a lot. Vetti on that is because I particularly went really dry on that piece of the Void Waker there. So, but yeah, that's it. The potions. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to talk about. I mean, other than like the highlights here, uh, the seeds, man. Like, well, Rainars, you know why. 90,000 Moss Shines, 650 Sepulchers. Uh, TOA gave some too. TOA gave a ton of Snapdragons and Toflax and Torstals. So much to the point that I don't need to physically go and grind these anymore. No. I only have to farm them sometimes and that's it. I used to actually have to go like AFK some Dagonaz when I was like grinding next or something for some of these seeds. But now I don't have to do that. It's just, it's just so many. So, uh, okay. Well, that's pretty much over. Okay, resource tab. I think I will dedicate a bit more time into this because obviously for skillers or people that love seeing big numbers, potential resources turn into big numbers. This is like basically the nuclear bomb of XP, right? Because there is a lot of XP in this tab. And uh, sad to say, I'm just not that interested in turning these into XP unless there's like some crazy good reason to outside of XP. But yeah, there's a lot of crafting XP for sure right off the bat, like the hides crazy amount of xp if somebody wants pause this part and just do the math for me bro i would love to see someone figure out the xp from this tab alone i know rune light thing has it uh anyways we have a lot of smithing xp as well so 7,000 rune light bars 30,000 iron bars 50,000 mithril bars yeah it's insane um prayer xp too we got a good amount 20,000 dragon bones 6,000 superior bones 7,000 dragon off bones holy that's a lot of xp boys that is a lot um, I guess construction XP is pretty good too. 30,000, well, 28,000 mahogany, 45,000 teaks. Where do I even get these from? I'm not 100% sure. Ah, damn, I don't remember exactly where I got these from, but... Yeah, uh, it's probably from bossing. That's all I know. So, we have a lot of logs to fire making XP, I guess, fletching XP, I guess. 100k plus U logs, almost 50k magic logs. Oh, man. Not sure what to do with this. Oh, Jesus. The flax keeps growing. Like, I I mean, my guy, I spend a hundred of these. A hundred thousand of these, right? A long time ago. I still haven't used these up. Maybe one day I'll use these up. Uh, lots of random f raw food. Not exactly sure wh what I dropped these. It's kind of late in the night, guys. I just don't quite remember where this came from. But if you do know, let me know. Uh, Four million Pyrrhicins. I've kind of just really gave up on grabbing Pyrrhicins. But it still goes up like crazy. Oh, this is new. Colossal Pouch. Actually, I forgot to talk about Gardens of the Rift. But yeah, Gardens of the Rift gave you some cool upgrades. So Colossal Pouch just is a better version of all the original room pouches. Uh, yeah, that's it on this section. Not much else to say. Oh, actually, let's talk about Air Orbs. I got a lot of this from Nex. So yeah, there's a lot of that. Okay, this tab, really not much to talk about, just uh, miscellaneous clue stuff that, yeah, I just don't really know what to do with it, like, I can't store these. Um, also, Jagus, when are, when are we getting, like, a god page folder from, like, clue scrolls or something, just like the master scroll book, because I would love that, because this is, you know, this is just, how many, how much space? 24 bank space? Kind of just wasted, you know? I mean, I could buy more bank space, yes, but still. I feel like we should get a god page folder. I just love tidying up, and that would be a free way to tidy up. Uh, we got a bunch of these kits that... Yeah, I can't store in my house, so that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm stocking up on some lucky implings, you know? want to get to at least 50 again and open it for a special occasion. So, these are just backups, you know? Sometimes I need, need some clues for a master or something, so I open these comes in handy and uh this slot is kind of like currency i guess or just cool uh resource collection stackables you know like uh zora scales or like crystal shards iron's keys i will be stocking up on this eventually you know the new wildy updates has really inspired me 
to try. So hopefully this will go up a lot more than just one. Um, yeah, like shards, the hill shards, ancient shards, brimstone keys, chew bones. Oh, ancient essence for Muspa. Uh, this is used to upgrade the imbue heart and charge the venerable. Uh, of course, you know, coins, right? That's like the coolest thing to collect, of course. Uh, 448 mil. Yeah, a lot of this is just from alking randomly during bossing over time. So yeah, a lot of that. Groby keys, yeah, I did some Seratinus there and there for restores back when Red Spire were more of a struggle. But I think Venonatus gave me some nowadays, so I should be okay, yeah. I still have a thousand from Wild E bosses. Alright, so this is the last tab, guys. Um, rope top of the eye and the rope, I guess the rope set of the eye is the amazing runecrafting outfit. I believe it gives you like, what was it, 30-40% more runes when runecrafting. So this is amazing. Combined with the new blood essence ever since next came out, which gives you extra blood runes. One essence is 1,000 bonus blood runes, so I have a ton of these. Oh, actually, should I show you? I don't know if I've showed you already. Uh, hold on, I need to just find it. Blood essence, look at this. 200k in blood runes, basically, off of this from Nex and TOA. So yeah, that combined with the outfit, amazing. I'll never worry about blood runes ever again. Uh, so this tab, really nothing crazy. This is just like when I go fishing or something, or when I go making potions, so... This is like the little tab I, I have for that. As you can see, a lot of amethyst still left over from the 99 mining years ago. Oh, limber roots. Holy shit. I didn't farm any of this. I don't think. Well, I got a lot of this from Wildy Bossing, so that's nice. But yeah, that's really it. So, of course, you guys probably want to know what the bank value is. You know, I only show this because you guys care. You know, I'm too much of an Ironman player to really care personally. But hey, I know you guys care, so... I gotta show you guys. So we are at apparently 22.8 bill. And of course, this will be subject to fluctuations, you know, because of seasonal people like, you know, less people playing or panic selling, things like that. So it could change. It's never actually like, you know, what you see here all the time. And I also have dropped billions and billions of things over time for like bonds right and just to pay my friend splits when we do group bossing and things like that so yeah it could have been a lot higher but uh yeah i just rather not keep everything like i had like three shadows of course but i only kept two of them i like to at least have a dupe so yeah we dropped a lot of stuff over the over the years so we've liquidated some things like deck scrolls and things like that otherwise i would have had a lot more of course so yeah we took away those a long time ago but yeah still Still 22.8 bill though. So our bank still grows even though I liquidate from time to time. Um some miscellaneous stuff, I guess. You know, so here's like the Mr. Iron Bar overall progress on other things. Of course, we're still max. Maybe not until a new skill comes out. Uh total XP, it's gone up a lot. 1.3 bill, but it's gonna slow down since a lot of the free XP, like strength and HP, has gone down the drain. They are maxed. Range is maxed. So yeah, a lot of times like when I'm doing range activity, no XP. So sad. But uh, quests. Ooh, this is a, this must be an eyesore. I'm sorry. But yeah, there's this new quest. Man, they keep releasing these easy quests and I'm just too lazy to do them. Unless I have to finish it for the music cape, which I didn't. So I didn't bother. Uh, yes, achievements, you know, uh, diary stuff been completed. Uh, combat tasks been completed. Um, recently though they released the race 3 tasks so i had to re obtain some of the combat achievement stuff collection log though has gone up quite a lot actually just passively doing some occasional clue scrolls some occasional slayer related stuff and boom that brings me to 700 plus now so that's really cool uh yeah time played only goes up from here baby yeah 824 days but honestly at least half of those is just me being on the computer doing other shit. So I guess this is more representative of how much time I'm on the computer. Or at least a, a majority of it. But yeah, I love uh, AFK on the side. So, But that's it on that. Uh, what else can I show you? I guess I can show you guys my pets too as well. Uh, I have most of it in my house, of course. So I wish I could really take some of these out. But it's really inconvenient though, taking them out for bossing. 
Uh, but yeah, new pets this year. We got Vedion and the Muspa. That's it. That's all I got in the last 365 days. Oh, actually next two. But that was like technically over a year ago now. So we have that. But yeah, we have uh, quite a lot of pets now. We're currently at 29. So let me uh, show you in game here. 29. Oh, actually collection log uh, can do that as well. So collection log. Let's do all pets, right? Here we go. 29 52 wow that's crazy we actually have over half the pets but there's still so many pets i'm not too keen on grinding them all though but i'm sure we'll get some more along the way um what else can i show you guys i guess some some quick treasure trail stuff so a lot of these were pre-logs so some of these won't even show up in the log my goal is to re-obtain them for the log over time including new items but masters though we got a good amount of stuff done as you can see as you can see, um, let's see, Elites has changed a little bit because I've started doing these. I've started doing all the clues again, every single type. So we will be refilling some lot slots and reobtaining some new stuff. I think these are pretty new. The Gilded, the Hide, so that's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, no 3rd age though, man. I wish I had 3rd age, guys, but no 3rd age. Hard clues recently started doing them again, as I've said. But a lot of these have not made it back to the collection log, so we need to reobtain a lot of these again. But that's cool though. We have most of them, technically. Uh let's see what else. Yeah, mediums. We did some recently for the what do you call it? The holy sandals for the devout boots. So we've turned that only one we had into the devout boot, but we've got most of the mediums. Relog, of course. Easy's not too many actually. We only got 14 of this, so the collection log for that never really was much. Beginner clue, I just recently got one of them. Oh, I have a lot just this year. <laughs> Here. Uh what else? Some random void stuff, but uh in the magic wardrobe there is some ancestral to save some bank space, I guess. Ooh, the wilderness escape. Cool. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys with another one of these in about a year's time. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to uh, show you guys with some more cool progress. So that way, in the next bank video, I'll have a lot more cool stuff to summarize, I guess. But yeah, I bet you guys adieu.